Ooh, that was clutch. Hey, come back here, baby chair lazy boy. Eat bubble. Man, this is so easy. I'm gonna turn around now and not even look. Oh, hey, I didn't notice you were watching me play this game called Armor Core. You probably know me from that other video. Was it Bomb Crush? Your mama gave me some sacks of money. It's Bomb Rush Cyber Funk! Well, since you're here right now, the new BRC crew wants me to edit their skate video for them. I told them I'll do it if they get the footage and send it to me since... You know. We're still stuck in here! Oh well, that's okay for now. Knuckmaster is here to teach you how to do video graffiti in Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Take it away, my man. Hey everyone, Knucklemaster here. So I post this image here on Reddit and Twitter. <laughs> I mean, X now, whatever, right? Multiple people ask me how I made this, since the last video did surprisingly well to the point where I was even questioning it. And then someone from Reddit also subscribed to me on my channel for this video as well, and told me to try some panoramic shots too. So I felt like I had to do another video. I also replied to them saying, I am the Knuckle Master. That doesn't mean anything to them. Come on, really? Why did I type that? No pressure, right? I can do this, right? Anyways, so I'm gonna show you how to mod your own custom graffiti and make video graffiti in Bomb Rush Cyberpunk on the PC. Are you ready for this? Here we go. This time we need a good working computer, of course. A copy of Bomb Rush Cyberpunk on PC, OBS or Steam Labs to record your footage, and any image and video editing software that you like to use yourself. I'm going to use Adobe Premiere and Photoshop. I'm sad to say this, but as far as I know, you can only mod on the PC release of BRC. Maybe later down in the line, modders will figure out how to do it on consoles, like the Fallout games. There's one more thing we need for this. We need this program called Ube. I hope I'm saying that right. This stands for Unity Assets Bundle Extractor Avalonia. <laughs> I don't know what tectonic plates shifting around the earth supposed to mean for this, but I this will mod the game for us. I think this program is used in most games that use the Unity engine. I didn't know about this until someone mentioned it to me and sent me a link on Twitter before I published the previous video. Thank you so much for showing me this, Zeta. I really appreciate it. I'll put down the links that I use for Ube and the how-to guide in the description of this video. I'm on the 6th edition of Ube, so if you're watching this later, I would recommend downloading the latest version. I'm on Windows, so I'm downloading the Windows version. It will come in the zip folder and you might need a program that unzips the folder for you. You can use something like WinWire for this. Now we extract all the files into a new folder. I'm going to put it into the downloads tab so I can find it easier. Now it's time to set up our custom graffiti for BRC. Let's do it. Go to the folder where your program is at and select ubay.exe. A small window will open, then go to file, open, go to where your Steam games are located. Mine are in my hard drive. Go to the Steam Library folder, then Steam Apps, then Common, then Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, then Bomb Rush Cyberfunk underscore data, then Streaming Assets, then Assets, and finally scroll down until you see Graffiti. Open it up. If you happen to not know where your Steam games are located, then you can use the search bar and type in Bomb. That should pull it up. Or, you can also use Steam to help you find the path too, by going to Settings, then Properties, then Install Files, and hit Browse. This will open up where the game is located. After you go through the file path system and select Graffiti, click on Info. This will open up a bigger window called Assets Info. This will show all textures, shaders, and material of all graffiti in the game. Since we're just changing only the image files around, let's go to view and filter it where it only shows the image files. By clicking off the check marks except for texture 2D, then close the window. Now it only shows the PNG files. Okay, so there's four different sizes, extra large, large, medium, and small, but smalls are unique to each character. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't like the rival gains graffiti in the game, so I'm gonna replace those and they're really easy to find here. They have them separated by rival gain names and for each size too. 
The next step is now picking the graffiti that you want to replace. Let me show you an example here. Go to this file here and go to plugins. The plugins window will show up and you can choose between export texture or edit texture. Exporting the texture can be saved into your computer and you can see what it looks like before you replace it. Editing the texture will replace the texture. I like to export the texture onto the computer first so I know what I'm replacing in the game. Then I go to my newly exported image and right click, then I go to open with, then Photoshop or your weapon of choice for image editing. If you do it this way, you don't have to worry about your resolution size for each one. Edit your graffiti texture however you like. I'm going to make green screens and blue screens with mine to make video graffiti, just like the previous video. After you get all your new custom graffiti ready to go in your folder, then we go to edit texture in the plugin window. Then OK, then go to load, pick your custom graffiti of the right size. Now we click save, and then go to file in the big window, click save, then it will pop up a window saying you need to close the big window first for it to truly save and replace. So click OK, then close the big window, then go to the smaller window, then go to File, and click Save To. Now close it. I hope I explained that pretty well. If you did this incorrectly by closing the smaller window first, it won't work. So put it in this way. Close the big window, then the very small window. So big, then small. All right, let's go test it out first and see if it worked or not. Cool, it seems to be working. So I'm gonna take the time to replace what I need to replace here. Then go around in the game and spray down the entire city with green screens and blue screens. Let's put in the work now. First time doing this with BRC, so I didn't know which color was going to be better for this project. So I did both. It seems I get the same results like I do with Jet Set Radio Future. So both colors are good so far. Just depends where you're at in the game. Okay, after I got all of Varsum Hill re graffitied and some parts that I wanted to try out, then I took some time to record some footage. Time to edit the footage I just got. So last time I talked about Ultra Key to make those video graffiti and Jet Set Radio Future. Pretty much we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, let's review how to do Ultra Key real quick. Take the footage with the green screen and put it onto Video Layer 2. Then take what you want to replace with your green screen onto Video Layer 1. Go to the search bar on the right and type in Key to find the Ultra Key effect. Drag down the effect onto video layer 2 and go to the left side for the effect controls and scroll down until you see ultra key. Then use the color dropper on the color green. After that make sure video layer 1 fits underneath video layer 2 by scaling or using the corner pin effect. Thinking about corner pin effect, this person from reddit said to try to do some more panoramic shots this time around by using corner pin effect. So let's go more in depth with it. To do this effect go to the effects on the right side Use the search bar and type in pin to find the corner pin effect. Drag it into video layer 1. Go to the left side into the effect controls and scroll down until you see corner pin effect. Then four round blue like crosshairs will show up on each corner of said video, image, or GIF. Adjust them to your liking in the video. And video layer 2 might be moving around for video layer 1, so that means it will have to keep up. To fix this, we need to fix the positioning when video layer 2 moves around. So in the effects controls, we need to go position, scale, and corner pin and click on the stopwatch icons. This will create a keyframe. Then go further into the timeline to readjust the position, scale, and corner pin. Keep on adding more keyframes in the timeline until it looks correct. 
I'm not gonna lie, but this took me a good 30 minutes and it's really such a pain in the butt to do here because Premiere doesn't like it when I do this, making this very hard for me to see what's going on. At the last couple of seconds in this part where the kitty girl says hi to Red, Hello. I made it scale up where he goes around the corner because I kept getting error messages popping up. <laughs> Maybe the computer thought it was too epic or really bad. I don't know. Well anyways, let's see how all this hard work turned out. I hope it turns out really good. Oh yeah, if you happen to see a lot of footage of Belle from BRC, that's probably because Clutch has a huge crush on Belle, so sorry about that. Hey, no fair. Especially that winter outfit, she kinda looks like Ray from Evangelion. Dude, just show the fuck. Well, that was a lot of fun to make. I hope this odd how-to video style again was enjoyable to watch again. This was my first time modding a Unity game, and it seems a bit easier compared to modding other games. Sorry it took me a while to make this video. I do this all by myself, but I'm working towards being more productive than usual. I'm already working on the next video too, something a little bit different. I'm also thinking about learning how to mod custom characters in BRC soon. Tell me what you think about that idea. I love BRC and talking about it. Oh yeah, I'm going to upload all my Jet Set radio footage of the blue screens and green screens for everyone to use. So you're more than welcome to download and play with it all you want. Yeah, it'll be on the second channel. I post like extras and commentary onto that channel. I also use it to advertise the first channel by using shorts. I also made a custom graffiti set for BRC, so you're more than welcome to download them from Twitter or on my Reddit community page. Okay, well, I think that's everything I want to talk about, so time to wrap this up. If you're new here and you like my video, then hit like. If not, then tell me how can I improve in my next video. Drop off a comment to get my attention. I really enjoy reading the comments. And finally, if you want to see my future videos on this channel and you really like this stuff, then click subscribe and be notified by ringing that bell. It really makes my day when I see the comments and people watching and liking my videos. It makes me want to keep going into this path. Thank you all for watching my YouTube channel. I really appreciate all of you and hopefully I get to see you next time. And hopefully... The next video will come out a lot sooner than I think it is. Alright, have a great day. I'll see you next time.